Hey guys, we're Lonzo from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe front bumper removal and installation. This also works on a 2017 to 2014 Chevy Tahoe. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And if you guys need this bumper for your car, the link is down below and up above. So let's go ahead and get started on this car. All right, so we're gonna start off on the side of the bumper where the wheel well is. This is gonna be the passenger side, so I turn the wheel towards the driver's side so I can get into this side right here or the inside of the fender liner. So if you guys can see right there, there's gonna be a seven millimeter bolt right there. There's gonna be a push pin or push clip right there. And then you're gonna see another push clip right there and then another push pin. And then right behind there, you're gonna see another push pin. So all around, so actually it's another one on top right here. So if you just follow the fender liner, you're gonna see some push pins, combination of uh, seven millimeter bolts, another push pin. So you're gonna go ahead and take those off first. All right, so this one right here to remove that, it's gonna be a seven millimeter. So you guys can see right here, it's just a socket set with a seven millimeter on there. So we're gonna take that off first. So we got like two of them. One and two right here. Just like that. And let me show you guys what that looks like. So it looks like these two bolts are pretty long. Just like that. And if you guys go around, so remember this one, two, three, four, kind of, well, around four that you guys have to take off. So if you guys have a fly head, you guys can go ahead and go right behind that clip and push it out like that. Kind of mess around with it. And then it comes off. But an easier tool would be one of these panel remover tools. Just like that. And just kind of pull like that. Very easy, but a fly head works also. Because I know not a lot of people have this tool. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this top one also. So the top one's a little bit different from these sides right here. So you guys can see the side ones looks like this. And the top one that I just removed looks like this. So it's pressed down like this. And if you guys have that fly head, just go in there and pry up like that. And this thing will pop. And you guys can go ahead and remove this. So, let's see, once we have this, we can probably just hold our hand right here. And you're gonna go back there and kind of unclip it, the fog light basically. So let me show you guys how I'm gonna do that. So let's see, so right back there, as you guys can see. All right, so you guys can see back here, just go ahead and press down on here and then unhook that uh, fog light. So go ahead and do it on the other side. All right, once we're done with the side of the bumper, we're gonna go crawl underneath the bumper. So let's see. So like right down there, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter. Let me see, folks. That's what I saw in other YouTube videos. You put your hand behind here and I can show you. So there you go, 10 millimeter. And basically you go down there and there's a 10 millimeter bolt that's on the side right here and then one on the other side. You guys can see my light source right there. But let me show you guys underneath. Oh, if you guys go, just go underneath right here. Oh, it's gonna get dark. Bracket like this right here. All right, so if you guys see this bracket right here, right behind there, that's that bolt right there. You guys gonna take that off. Oh, look at that, and the light hits it. I get like almost a Tetris look, Tetris look. So go right here and you take that off. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. There you go. 
So that bolt looks like that right there. Alright, do that on the other side. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and lift up that hood. So if you guys look right here, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter right there, right there, right there, right there. It's all along the uh, front of, on top of that bumper. Like right there, right there, over there, and over there. So it's gonna be two, four, six, eight of them. We're gonna take all eight off. So, as you guys can see on this side right here is where we sustain most of our damage and uh, headlight actually broke also but I'm gonna show you guys how to pull this bumper off on the other side but it's just gonna poss possibly just fall off on this side so, but on this side right here you're just gonna pull the bumper and it should just come right off so go ahead and pull the bumper it might get stuck a little bit but there you go see how that thing just comes off like that and let's just pretend that we did that same exact thing on that damaged side once that side is also taken off, go ahead and pull the bumper right here. And it should just slide off like that. So you guys can see, it's just sliding off. Continue to wiggle it out. Just like that. There you go. All right, if you guys are wondering what the back looks like, it looks like this right here. And there's a foam piece right here. That's what's going to give you guys a little bit of problem or it might get stuck. Just go ahead and pull it. It's just a foam piece and it, it gets stuck time to time, but that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like. Now go ahead and take off all your accessories and put it on the brand new bumper.